and we're back fellow knife enthusiast. I'm C and this is Joel. Just Joel. What's that? More new knives? Well, if you insist. This time they're Halen from CRKT. Kaiser. Joker. And Charade. Old timer. Yeah, well, I'm excited. That's weird. Let's start with a CRKT this time. All right. How about the delineation? Fine by me. Fine by me. So this folder is 6.1, excuse me, 6.81 inch overall with a 2.94 inch 8CR13 MOB Warncliffe style blade with plain edge, 0.12 inch thickness, and a satin finish. Blade is open with a flipper stud and operates with CRKT's IKBS ball bearing system and Ken Onions assisted opening. Designed by Oaks, lost my voice, Oaks from Oregon, Oregon. This knife has swift single hand deployment and durable, easy to sharpen blade. Lastly, this frame lock has a stainless steel handle, lanyard hole, low profile deep carry tip of pocket clip, and anodized blue spirals and pivot cap. Blue barrel spacers. Yep. Very good. I know. And you can snag one for yourself for just $44.84. <clears throat> From landknife.com. There he is. All right, you're up first. I'm right? up first. Yep, All right. Go. Here's your delineation. Well, I like the delineation. I'd like the blade steel to be a little bit more, mm, I don't know, better quality. <clears throat> Maybe. I you like the know. design. If this were a D2 knife, I'm all in with this sucker. I like the uh, handle. Mm. Ooh, it does snap good. I give it that. All right. Well, I It'll like, be a big one, I'm sure. I, I think it would, too. Yep. I mean, I like the blue accents. Mm -hmm. I like how swiftly and great it opens. Blade steel and handle, as you said, aren't super great. But this is one of the more reasonably placed CRKT, so you can't complain too much. I mean, handle feels good in the hand. I'm not sure if it's going to be super good for, like, a wet conditions or if you're, you sweat a lot. I just feel like you might lose your grip a little. Yeah. Well, I, you're an overly sweaty man. Oh, sweatily person. <laughs> you might you might lose a little bit of grit, there but it is. Ready? it's nice. So yeah, I'll, I'll go with the over, overly sweaty thing. Okay, great. Up next, the Joker of Vispa. Newer models of this blade, love it. Mm -hmm. So there are now four different options you can choose from. There's a curly birch, which Joker always does so well, like on their ember knife. There's a red orange canvas micarta one as well as a black yellow canvas micarta. That one's kind of like the traditional old one. And finally, we have the walnut wood one. There you go. Ooh, one we're featuring today. So this fixed blade is a little under six and a half inches overall with a 3.5, 3.15 inch Sandvik 14C28 end steel blade with satin finish, scanty grind, jimping, and is 0 0.11 inches thick. Handle is walnut wood with lanyard hole. Lastly, this made in Spain fixed carry comes with a brown leather belt sheath, 1.3 meters of 550 paracord. Which I don't have, but it weighs just three and a half ounces and starts at only. No sheath shimmy. 63.84. There it is. Landknife.com. And that's 4.26 feet of paracord for the non metric system watchers. Mm, so. Gone. Oh, look, there it is. <laughs> Okay, so I like this knife. Excellent quality, looks amazing. I'm starting to like 14C28N. All right, it's a, it's got good edge performance, good corrosion resistance. It's pretty hard. It's actually harder than S35 Vienna, I believe. I think it's like 5860. Oh, fun fact. Here HRC. You go. So, curly birch and the walnut one always look amazing, and they can work as both like a neck knife or a belt carry. So. I'm real comfortable with it. How's your comfortable level? Oh, I'm comfortable right here. Right. And what do I know? I sit here in pajamas and a pair of slippers. So. Oh, do you? That's how you come to work. That's how I come to work. That's interesting. It's pajama yeah. day every day here at AK. And I ride my llama. <laughs> I like it. This, this knife actually reminds me of a $12 knife, believe it or not. It's a little different. That little elk ridge that everybody buys with the mirror. I can't remember the name of it. It's 111 is the number. But, uh, I mean, it's obviously higher quality, better handle. The handle just feels obviously. better. But everybody buys that knife. There's so many of them. It's I got a popular feeling. popular model. So. It's a good little size for... Uh, just quick throw in there. Take use it out when you're hunting. Yeah. So, you know, 
I like it. It's nice. I, I would actually I can go deer hunting. I'm a man's man. <laughs> I'm a man's man. Okay. All so right. up next are the new Kaiser Feists. We've got two of the new versions of this originally $200 titanium folder. So we've got the denim models, which are different finishes, as you can mm -hmm. tell. And then we got the red rich light one. Too bad we didn't have khaki. That's great for hunting. That's great. Both are six and a half inch overall, designed by Justin Lundquist. These front flippers also have 2.8 inch drop point blades with jimping what? and 0.12 thickness. There's a stone wash finish and a black finish on the denim micarta one and a black titanium coating on the rich light. Look at that. That's yeah. nice. So blade steel for the denim one is 154 cm. So you get those two. And the rich light is CPM 4V steel. Ooh, there we go. Yeah. So finally these liner locks have tip up pocket clips, weigh just two ounces, and you know what? This this is gonna put the icing on the cake for you guys. Mm -hmm. They come with their own pouches, so the denim one gets this denim uh, pouch. Rich light gets this one. Uh, so, yeah, I know, but look at this, look at this pouch, man. Kaiser, you have warmed your way back into my good graces with this pouch, buddy. Although, I'm pretty sure you stole this idea from me, but... Alright, as nice. the fight starts out at what, 75 bucks? Yep, for the denim ones. And 99 for the red rich light. Yep. Okay, I'm a lady. Lightknife.com. Lightknife.com. Yeah. Alright, you can do thoughts on the budget-friendly feists. Well, I will say track. that I noticed something about these denim over the, say, QSP denim or other denims. Mm -hmm. They're actually denim color. They're yeah, a little darker. They are. And they're very smooth. I didn't think that... Uh, the Macarta that Kaiser usually does isn't really this smooth. I mean, it's it's really nice. I mean... It is nice. I'm not sure where it's going to go because there are a lot of feists. And it's a front flipper. And it's a front flipper. But price point? Mm -hmm. I don't know. CM. I think this one will... Uh, and look at the pouch. <laughs> you I think I think they and the pouch. they'll be big sellers, even though they're front flippers, simply because they have 154 cm and CPM 4V for under 100 bucks. Also, Rich Light, if you remember, was really popular on like the Towser K, mm -hmm. which hasn't come back in stock since we reviewed it. So I feel like these will literally fly. I'm just kidding. Fly off the shelves. On a more personal note, if I ignore the front flipper part. I like the new models, okay? The red rich light is very interesting. It's very, it's not exactly like full on red. It's more like a maroony red purple type of color. All it's right. got like variation in there. It's nice. And. Oh, we yeah. had. That does it right there. Look at that. Just look. Patch you done good, removable. kid. Done good. Nice work, Kaiser. Nice work. Nice work. All right. Okay. Time for the next blade. Yep. It's the CRKT SDN. But first, it's that time. That time again. Make sure to take care of those like, share, comment, and subscribe buttons. Yep. Like plants and neighbor asked you to water, they need care. Especially mm -hmm. that bell. That way you're linked to Landing Knife, notified when we drop new content, and so you can be automatically entered into our giveaways. Speaking of those, your guys' one week extension is over. It's just over. We're announcing winners today. So, on the YouTube, the winner of their very own CRKT Largo is the soon to be acclaimed Sean McDonald. So, Sean McDonald gets that. Yep. I got the rose bushes. I got the rose bushes. And over on AK's blog, the winner of the CRKT KHC Chopper. Have you ever noticed Ta that I get the. Knives with all the letters, the J-B-L-A-C-R-J-B, F-O-D-A-P-E-R-M-49-B. F-I-N-E. No, I didn't realize Frank Paxton. was not on purpose. It's the pumpkin to your honey bunny, Frank. Yeah. Pumpkin to your honey bunny. Yeah. Make sure to email Wendy at salesalonknife.com to claim your knives. Gotta get through the gatekeeper. Yep. So... With the end of these giveaways, gives rise to our new ones. Mm -hmm. So now, on the YouTube, we're giving away the Kubi 202C carbon fiber, S35VN, and a whole lot of extras. Can't beat that. I know. And if you answer AK to your question, AK's blog, you'll be able to win the Kubi 232B titanium and D2. Need I say more? Love the smell of giveaways in the 
mid to late afternoon. Don't you? I you do. know I do, Paul. Yeah. You know I do. What? 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 What's up, man? So good to hear your voice. <laughs> okay. All right. Back to the CRKT SDN. Yes. <laughs> So, another neck knife from CRKT. We seem to be doing neck knives yeah. this week, you know? The Joker neck knife. So, this fixed carry is 5.66 inches overall with a 2.65 inch 1.4116 steel drop point blade with jimping, plain edge, and a bead blast finish. Less mirroring on this blade, less reflection, thus allowing for a more concealable tool. The SDN or the Scottish Skin Duh. Mm, whatever yeah, nice name comes from the scottish celtic meaning black knife and is meant to be a true covert carry as former u.s officer and knife designer james williams can testify to the knife designer yes there it is <laughs> weighing only 1.8 ounce and outfitted with its own black thermoplastic sheath yep one is able to transport this multi-purpose tool with ease Finally, this knife is precisely designed for self-defense. So, grab you an SDN for your neck, belt, or bag for just... forty-six eighty-four. Langknife.com. Yeah. Mounting gear. Uh, mounting gear and paracord included. I'll go first this time. Well, I like the look of it. It actually kind of reminds me of, like, the Fred Perrin LeGriff knife. Ah, uh -huh, LeGriff. Maybe a little bit of the CRKT snap lock. It's one of those thin, easy-to-conceal carry paraframe knives. I like them, but... Just overall, they tend to lack color, which I I want color. I'm sorry. Like style. Other than that, I think I'm kind of ready to be tacked, you know, as long as I can get it out of the sheath. It's a little difficult. As long as you can get it out of the sheath. I feel like you get a tag, you just have to... I'm at the same place here. I like the knife. It's nice. Yeah. It's another pair of frame, you know, style knife. I do like the, I guess, the grip you can get on this one. But yeah, because you can jab, jab, jab with the best of them. Until your baby takes a T-bird away. Yeah. Nice little knife. 46 bucks. Yeah. You know how it goes. Yep. So, following up the SDN. See, I said it that time. Mm -hmm. Is another neck knife. The Testy. CRKT. Testy. See, spec it up. I didn't do it. Yeah. This knife is 5.85 inch overall with a 2.38 inch 420J2 steel blade. The plain edge and it's 0.12 inch thick too. Must be the common thickness over there. It's must be. Handle is same steel as the fixed blade in a solid one piece. <laughs> yep. So handle also includes lanyard hole, lanyard along with mounting wear. So you also get the thermoplastic sheath with it as well. So this mm -hmm. is black. It is designed by, did I put that in there right? I don't think I did. Anyway, designed by Jeff Park and Mililani Hawaii. The skeletonized chevron textured carry is only $24.98. From AtlantaKnife.com, you know what? Mm -hmm. You need a solid one piece in Hawaii. Do you? Yes, you do. I mean, a two piece will never do. That's good. All right. <sighs> Your turn. Oh, you want me to go first? Yep. You know, there is so much to say about this little scalpel. Um, Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> I will tell you this. I cannot believe you. Just biting my rhymes, man. For, <laughs> okay, Will. Uh -huh. um, for a little knife, and the way it's done, I mean, hold on a second. It doubles as a tuning, tuning fork. fork. That's nice. I can oh, get rid of that goodness. Fender app. <laughs> Look at that. Except you only get one note. You gotta hold a different... Parts. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, what do you want for $24? Two uh, notes? Wow. <laughs> um, you know what? Wow. We'll leave it there. Wow. Go ahead. Tell us what you think. Jazzy Jeff would never bite. <laughs> never bite people's rhymes. Okay. It was going okay for CRKT until this. I mean, last week we had the awesome Deadbolt Mega Carson and the Inazuma No Ken. But we're back to this. ATR 13 and, and you know 420. You know some dude's going to come on here and comment, this is a standard carry for the Canadian Mounted Police and Army and High and Fishy Special Army. Yeah, that makes me want to We get often it. use this in, in tight combat quarter situations when roaming through the Freedom Fighters back. Yeah. I mean... I would rather just have a horse. I would rather just have a horse. I mean, you know what, CRKT, you're back out in the cold because this looks like <laughs> a scalpel. I'm not even kidding. Like, when I saw it, I immediately thought, you know, you know. 
The only thing missing here is like Hawkeye Pierce Hot or Gregory House standing over my shoulder criticizing me in this. I mean, come on. <laughs> come on. You know, 420J2 is used for surgical instruments. Well, you know what? That doesn't surprise me. It doesn't I'm surprise surgical me one with this thing, bit. Jake. That's great. It's it's about 556 on the HRC, so because it's low, you're not going to get a great edge retention or wear resistance. Hold on. I do have something positive to say. Oh, that's it. So 420J2 steel, it does have really high corrosion resistance, and it's easy to sharpen. That snap lock I mentioned earlier, Sarah KT does, has the same steel, and it's good. It's a good budget knife. Mm -hmm. So I think if you're just going to get this, you're going to get what you pay for, okay? Especially when it comes to Sierra KT, so... You know what I think? Some people like CRKT and they like that they can get a, a budget for $24. So Here's what I think. Yes. At least you're not dressed like a cranberry. All right. That's great. Next, the CRKT facet. Okay. Stepping so it up now. Only one option again for this knife. It is 7.69 inches overall with a 3.37 inch plain edge D2 blade with mm -hmm. satin finish. It's got jimping and it's 0 0.12 inches thick. Again, mm -hmm. must be the CRKT way. They have one machine over there that cuts to that size. Yep. Mm -hmm. Handle is stainless steel and features a jimped backspacer. Blade on this guy is deployed with a kind of a recessed mm -hmm. back flipper. Operates on the IKBS ball bearing system with onions assisted opening as well. Lastly, this frame lock has stainless steel tip up deep carry pocket clip and weighs just 3.9 ounces. Have your collection become multifaceted ah. mm, with the new CRKT facet for just fifty-four eighty-four from LandKnife.com. Just show you're up. Okay, it's just it's just not this isn't your lucky day. It isn't. I'm not crazy about this one either. Really? I mean, it's sure it's got the classic like gentleman EDC look, but I've seen that before. In fact, I saw it just seven ten minutes ago with this one. I yeah, saw this. You saw it in eight CR. That's true. Now you're seeing it in D2. But this one has the cute blue pivot accent and it actually it sets it pivot apart. Accent, not accent. Yeah, I mean the flipper stud isn't super uncomfortable. This isn't isn't super comfortable to engage either. It's just a little little rough, a little too far inside. No lanyard hole, no color pop. I mean it is D2 for fifty four dollars, which is better than CRKT's right. usual. But hmm. if I'm being honest, personally Nothing about this knife makes me think, I gotta have it. I just, it's okay. It's fine. Well, I will tell you. It will cut. It will do its job. I think that this knife is going to be extremely popular. One, Probably right. it has the same blade shape as my nemesis, the real steel metamorph. It has something the metamorph doesn't. Oh, yeah, yeah, by the way, the guy who said we must be professional because you never see a Band-Aid, you missed season one, episode four. You did. Um, <laughs> You missed the metamorph. The thing the metamorph doesn't have. I got hit by a bit was by a back a flipper. Too. Oh, that's true. And here it is. It's a slip joint. So too. now you have that thin knife with the, like a gentleman's type carry, with a nice handle, D2 back flipper, fifty bucks. Pocket clip. CRKT. I'd do it. <sighs> All right, to you. Final knife. Want to end the show on a high note, at least for me. Wow. With a brand we've never featured on the show before, and that would be... What? What was that? I didn't say anything. Uh-huh. That would be the Charade Old Timer Heritage. Now, we know what some of you might be thinking. Mm -hmm. Charade isn't high quality. Not anymore. Like well, get ready to jump back. Because dancing is allowed in town now. Because this new full tang knife, part of Old Timer's Heritage series, is an excellent quality, especially for this budget price. So, mm -hmm. only one option right now. It's 2.25 inches overall, 10.25 inches overall, with a 5 inch drop point D2 steel blade with jimping, high saber grind, and it's got that mirror satin finish. Look at that. Little over 0 0.06 inches thick. Handle is the laminate wood here with the nickel, silver bolster, and pommel. Weighs in at 9.9 .9 ounce. This knife comes in brown leather sheath. Show Look it to them now. That, guys. And it's only $59.84 from AtlanticKnife.com. And you didn't mention the most important part. Why is this D2 charade? That's nice. 
on here today. It's built for generations. It's built for generations. I don't know. <laughs> what am I supposed to say? I don't know. I was double checking because I don't. Of... I don't know if it's made in okay. America. Okay, it's not. It um, could be possibly maybe parts of it. No, 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 no. So don't get confused. This one's not. This is part of their. Oh, is it? You want to go? You want me to go? It doesn't matter. However you want I to think do it. I wanted to go first. Okay, well, like, go ahead. Something important to mention. No, you go ahead. You okay, go ahead. I have to say this knife is so nicely done for the price. I mean, you got this ridging along the handle so you can get a good grippiness. And everything is flush with the handle, the shield, the bolsters. I think if you need a hefty fixed carry, this is something to seriously consider. I mean, you get the D2, the price, the steel, and you get free shipping from Alanaknife.com. So there is no downside. Oh, good one. Wait a second. Oh, I didn't. She dinged it. It has everything. All right. This is part of their whole new, I don't know what you Redesign. want to call it. Yeah, they got their uh, Heritage Series, which Redesign is higher quality. Voice. And their Generational Series, which is the made in the USA part. Oh, okay. Their pocket knives that That's are right. like 50 bucks, made in the USA, so rival case stuff knives, so. at a lower price point. So that was the reason why I was pointing it out. Because okay. it's out of their... Their usual wheelhouse. Yeah, their usual wheelhouse. 20 years now of, of this so yeah. you know they're starting to make a few changes here and there to good. bring up the quality good. so good good all right so you ready to move on what are you gonna say about it personally on oh personally on a C level well I'm not a fan of mirror okay so I'll, I'll give you that I'll give but you that. I will take it because it is not 5CR mm -hmm. like you know the Eight typical CR, charade Gerber CR. You know, Don't even Browning, want to tell you what Winchester. It is. Yeah, it, it's steel. <laughs> Are you sure? Um, and it's it, it seems like it's quality done. I know. I mean, you know, the things like you'll, when you, people buy these charades nowadays, they're buying the name from years ago. A lot of times they don't match up. You know, there's a lip, there's mm -hmm. defects. There's a couple you know, little things wrong with you it. You kind of look at it and like, well, it's not perfect, but this thing, I mean... Full tang. Yeah, I, I mean, mean... It goes it goes all the way through, connected to the pommel. It's, they probably made three million, but... <laughs> I don't mean nothing But they're all... This is, thing's made nicely, so... And you get a sheath. Yeah, and it's a leather sheath, which is... I uh, mean, it is kind of... It's the, not the best leather sheath in the world. Yeah, yeah, but you still get a sheath. There were other ones where they just give you a fixed blade. No... So that's Leather what I would sheet. go with. Okay, so yeah. that was our final blade for this week. Yeah. Guys, make sure to like, share, mint, share, mint. Like, share, it's like comment, and subscribe so you can win. Eat gum while you're doing it. There Eat you go. gum while you're doing it. As well as ring the bell so you can know the haps on any new knives and be entered into giveaways. So right now on the YouTube, we're giving away the Kubi 202C carbon fiber S35VN. Blue and, anodized stuff, come on. Oh, yeah. Don't forget the blue anodized. Okay. And don't forget to take your happy self over to the AK's blog to answer the AK trivia question because once you do, you'll be able to win the Kubi 232B titanium and D2 blade. Who could, Who could ever, ever ask for, for more? more? I don't all know. right. Lastly, we're on all those social media platforms that Jewel happens to run, like Facebook, Pinterest, Reddit, YouTube, I should be Instagram, and Rumble and Jewel would love for you and we, you know, we would love for you to visit all those yeah. so Jewel can keep her job. There you go. Yeah. That's great. It's mm -hmm. great. So follow us on all those for knife and tool info, pictures, deals, and more. So in the show, favorite knife on the table this week, see you go. For me? Yes. Well, I was going to go a Vispa. Were you? But now, you know what? I'm going to give CRKT some love yeah. and go with the Ken Onion. What do they call this thing? Facet? the facet. It's multi-facet. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yep. Okay, well, I, I like... Look, you can't ask people to stop making front flippers I, and do something else, and they do it, and you'd be like, well, okay, I don't well, want on, it. Okay, well, CRKT doesn't do front flippers. Yeah, I know, but that's should. what I wanted. That's great. I wanted this knife to stop being made in front flippers. Solid. <sighs> and HCR 13. And HCR 13. This one's D2, people. D2. I like the Joker of Vispa, but I... I can't believe it says I like the Feist, even though they're front flippers. The yeah, Rich Feist Light nice. with the, the CPM4V and the 154CM, I like those too. It, I did like that one too. But it's a fixed blade, so I don't really take fixed blades that often. I'm more of a, I didn't like this one. I don't know. Just, I don't know. 
There you go. She as doesn't know. With that. I'm seeing this is. Just let me say my lines this time, Jewel. Just Jewel. And with that, we're, we're signing, signing off. off.